Hello everyone, this is Normal for Technique and in this video, we will be doing the extreme pass stress test and the throttling test and the benchmark test on the iQ Neo 7. So we have the iQ Neo 7 with us, so we will just uh, show you the device here. Uh, so about phone, you can see iQ Neo 7 and uh, it's a Dimensity 8200 chip and uh, we have 12GB RAM variant with us, Android 13 and Funtouch OS 13. So this is the iQ Neo 7 and in this video we will be doing the stress testing, uh, the throttling test, the CPU throttling test to see how good the experience is and then the stress test uh, and to do benchmark score and the Geekbench 6 benchmark uh, testing. Those are the tests we are going to do on this device. So before getting started, if this is your first time on this channel, do hit that subscribe button and also hit the bell icon to get notified of all the videos we publish. So let's begin. So first let's do the CPU throttling test. So now we have completed uh, the uh, the throttling test and you can see here the max performance 82% uh, of the max performance so it's not a bad performance actually you can see here the max value the average value and the minimum value it looks good actually uh, for a powerful chip and uh, the throttling is in the uh, very bad actually in fact uh, the uh, the cooling system definitely works well and you can see that the performance is really good on this device so that was uh, the throttling test now let's move on to the next test so next uh, we are going to do the wildlife extra stream the stress test so let's start the test And now we have uh, the wildlife uh, stress test result and you can see that stability is 99.5 percentage. Uh, that's very very uh, impressive score actually you can see here uh, the loop score the best score the stability is 99.5 uh, that's very good actually. So it's very stable performance even in extreme stress test. So that's the performance range you can see here on the max temperature the battery everything is uh, mentioned here. So that's the wildlife uh, stress test. Now let's go to the next test. So now we have the Antutu benchmark score and you can see that 8,58,517 that's a really impressive score. The CPU score, GPU score, memory score and the UX score is there and this is definitely one of the very impressive scores out there uh, in terms of benchmark. So this is the Antutu benchmark score for the iQ Neo 7. Now let's move on to the Geekbench score. So let's uh, do the Geekbench uh, test. So this is the final test we are going to do with uh, the iQ Neo 7. So this is the Geekbench 6 uh, score. Let's wait for this to complete. So here is the Geekbench 6 uh, CPU score, single core and uh, the multi score, uh, uh, multi core score uh, score is here. So this is really good. So overall you can see that uh, the iQ Neo 7 is one of the really powerful devices below the 30,000 price segment. It is priced 29 for the base variant and you can get up to 1500 rupees off with cards and uh, this effectively brings the price to 28,499. So for that pricing this is stellar performance you can see that even in stress tests and uh, even under two scores and uh, even the Geekbench 6 and even the uh, uh, CPU throttling test it did perform really well. So that was the performance testing of uh, the iQ Neo 7. Hope you enjoyed watching this video do hit that like button and also hit the red subscribe button for more videos. Thanks for watching hope to see you in our next video. Have a great day.